guys, it's Shannon Rose, and today I'm going to be telling you all about my experience on Howard Stern. This is kind of a crazy story. Years ago, I had gotten a call from my agency, and they said that the Howard Stern show wanted to book me to go on to their show. For those of you guys that don't know, Howard Stern's show was based in New York. So I had to fly to New York to do the show. I really, really, really don't like traveling by myself. I don't know why I already have anxiety as it is and I feel like safer and more comfortable and it's just more fun to have like a friend to come with me when I travel and stuff. Natty, who was one of my bridesmaids in my wedding, she is still a really good friend of mine and at the time she was my best friend and also my assistant. So Natty and I pack up and we get on a plane and we head to New York. We had to be at the Howard Stern show at 5 o'clock in the morning, super early. So like California time, that's 2 a.m. So we get there and I like tried to get makeup and hair ready but like it was so early and I was so tired and if you know me I am not a morning person at all I freaking hate morning don't even talk to me in the morning I won't even comprehend what you're saying I was like I don't know how this is gonna go down like this is gonna be interesting I was so 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 nervous because I grew up watching Howard Stern like it used to be like on TV if you're young you probably don't remember that he would interview people and Howard Stern is like brutally honest and so I was so scared that he was just gonna like tear me apart and I was like why am I even doing this do I really want to do this? You know, second guessing myself. Ugh, I was just really scared. In my mind, I was just like, Shannon, it's okay. Even if he tears you apart, going on Howard Stern is good exposure. And I had a website at the time, my porn sites. They were going to promote that for me. Even if he was so mean to me, at least like my website will get some more exposure, you know? So I was just going in there expecting the very worst. I thought he was just going to like tell me I was ugly, my body was terrible, and all these things. So we get to the Howard Stern show, we go through all the security, and they put us like in what kind of it's called a green room you basically like stay in there and you can hear them on the radio and like talking and stuff and hear what's going on we're sitting in there and I'm like nervous as hell and they have like a camera crew come in and they were interviewing me asking me all these questions finally you guys it's time for me to go on to the radio but they're also filming I don't know where like the videos go maybe as a website or something I wasn't really sure well, I walk in there and I'm so nervous I look so busted too when it's really early or tired like you just don't look that good and I just try to do like my makeup really fast and back then like I wasn't that great at makeup especially then because I was always getting my makeup done for me so I was never doing my own makeup I just looked terrible you guys like I looked really <laughs> I looked really bad and I am like so nervous butterflies in your stomach kind of feel like a little sick it's extremely hard for me to get nervous about things I don't get embarrassed very easily I mean obviously I freaking <laughs> had sex on camera but ass naked clearly didn't care about that but for some reason I was so freaking nervous walking in there and I think it's just because I had watched Howard Stern growing up and so to me this was a really big deal because I thought he was gonna like be really mean and that I was gonna have to sit there for however long this show was and just like take it because it's not just Howard Stern it's a few other people and they all kind of like are around the room. Let me give you an idea of what this looks like if you've never seen it. The girl is like behind a glass window with her like mic and headphones on over here and then Howard Stern's like on the other side of the room and he doesn't have like a, a glass thingy or whatever. They all had like their own little booths separate. It wasn't a table with like a bunch of people. So it was a little intimidating, you know, cause it's not just like me and one other person. It's like me and like all these other people that are about to grind me on like questions and ask me all these things. My heart is pounding. I'm like, ba -bum, ba -bum, ba -bum, ba -bum. I walk in, they were so nice to me. I was just like shocked because I was just expecting them to just be so mean because that's just what I knew about Howard Stern. What is going on? Am I being punked? They basically just asked me like a bunch of porn questions, questions about my personal life. They brought my friend Natty in and asked her some questions questions and I had gone to nursing school and they have like games that they play sometimes when you're in there. They did one where they put me in a tickle chair and they asked me nursing school questions and if I got them wrong like I had to be tickled or whatever. It was a really fun show. I'm really glad that I did it. It was a really cool experience even though I was really nervous to go on. It's something I'm really glad that I did and something I'll never forget. I'm gonna try to link below if I can find the links to the show because I'm like really bad at technology and I can't find stuff but you guys are really good at that. So if you guys can find the audio or the video, a clean version, link it down below in the comment section because I would love to watch it. I haven't even seen the whole thing. I've only heard like little clips. One of my friends had like sent me like a little clip of before when I wasn't in there and they were talking about me. They were looking at some of my pictures and I guess like Howard Stern and the girl were just like, you know, this girl's really good looking. She's almost like too good looking to be in porn. Hot. Is that, are those pictures for real? Just chick. I passed by the green room and, yeah, she's with a hot friend. Yeah, they're both, oh, yeah. Well, you want to interview just her? Well, let's start with her and we'll see what the deal with the I just... There's a reason to bring in the friend. Yeah, you never know. H
let's bring in Randy Wright. This girl, I'm looking at it, and I go, this is one of those girls that's almost too good looking to be a porn star. Like, uh -huh. she must really be touched in the head. Oh my goodness. She's super hot. Hi there. It was just a really good show and I had a really good time and it was really cool. There's so much more to where that story came from. Natty and I ended up going out that night and we both ended up in Bellevue Mental Hospital. It was a little craziness that happened after that show. The rest of what happened on that trip was way crazier than being on the Howard Stern show. I have so many crazy stories that have happened to me and a lot of those stories are going to be in my book but maybe I'll tell a few of them that will be in my book. If you guys want to um, hear that story, let me know down in the comment section and maybe I'll tell that one because it's a pretty good story. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. I'm sending you guys all my love and all my positive energy and I hope to see you in my next video. Mwah!